By virtue of the authority vested in me, I constitute this congregation of the Durban University of Technology. The congregation is invited to sit. Sunny Bonani. Molweni, Dumelang, and good morning. Welcome to the 2022 celebratory graduation ceremony for the Durban University of Technology. This is the Faculty of Arts and Design. My name is Alan Khan. I'm the Senior Director of Corporate Affairs, and it's my privilege, pleasure, and honor to be your program director at this morning's celebratory graduation ceremony. I'd like to welcome our esteemed chancellor, Ms. Nongkululeko Nyembezi, our Deputy Chair of Council, our Vice-Chancellor and Principal, Professor Tanbram Tembu, the Deputy Vice-Chancellors, the Registrar, Deputy Registrar, Executive Dean, Deputy Dean, our Members of Council, Members of Faculty, the DUT Convocation, the SRC, the Institutional Forum, and Members of the Stage Procession. Also, welcome to all of our graduates, their parents and guardians, family and friends, supporters and funders, and I must also acknowledge my valued colleagues from the academic administration and support sectors of the university. Welcome to the world-class Nkosi Albert Latuli Durban International Convention Center. It's truly wonderful to have a return to the physical graduation stage following the COVID-19 pandemic, which disrupted our lives and forced us to change the way we live and the way we learn. We also pause and remember and honor our family, friends, and colleagues who have passed on during this time. May their memory always be a blessing. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a celebratory graduation ceremony because the actual graduations took place online earlier this year as was the case in 2020 and 2021. During this graduation season, a total of 9,081 graduates over 35 sessions, 12 days in Durban and in Peter Maritzburg, will walk the graduation stage. Now, of the 9,081 graduates, 5,421 are women, 3,660 are men, which means 59.7% of all DUT graduates are women, which means girl power at DUT is alive and well. So congratulations, ladies. Let's give them a massive round of applause. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, I'm also pleased to confirm that once again, we are offering 
language interpretation services from English to Isizulu. If you picked up one of our headsets at the entrance, please make sure these are switched on so you can receive the language interpretation service. And importantly, please return the headsets to us after the ceremony so other guests in the next ceremony can also make use of the interpretation service. We also have sign language practitioners with us. My right to your left, and that is to help our guests or graduates with any hearing impediments. Honored guests, the women and men who will be presented to you today have worked extremely hard to be here. Therefore, as a mark of respect to all of our graduates and their families, please could I humbly request that you stay with us for the entire duration of this morning's ceremony. We also realize that it is a celebration. It's a result of the investment and effort that you have made, and today is your moment. However, every single graduate deserves to have their name not just read, but heard from the podium. Every graduate needs to be presented to the congregation. So as you walk on stage, graduates, later on this morning, and when you are announced to the congregation, we ask you to please be considerate of the next graduate whose name also needs to be heard by the congregation. In the old days, graduates, they used to say, what happens in Vegas? <laughs> Not anymore. What happens in Vegas stays on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok. And with that in mind, I'm sure you all have your mobile devices. I did see a few of you taking pictures outside and selfies in the foyer. So please share those photographs and your social media posts with us. Hashtag DUTGrad22. Now, I've been following a lot of the posts and photographs over the week, and many of the other faculties are really celebrating big time. I have to be honest, uh, I graduated from the Faculty of Arts and Design many years ago, so you know I'm slightly partial towards this, so please don't let me down, graduates. Let's show the other faculties how the Faculty of Arts and Design can celebrate excellence and success. So hashtag, please, DUTGrad22. And just to confirm that all DUT graduation events are streamed live on the DUT website. Now, we have a very special honoree with us today, and I'll be introducing you to her and reading her citation in a short while. I first had the chance to watch her on stage as a young boy in the 70s when she starred in Ipitombi. She then took part in some of my favorite television series, and now I'm glued to Umbewu the Seed and when I met her earlier on, I forgot her real name and I called her Ma Ndlovu because I'm so used to having her in my home every day. She's on stage with us today. And graduates and guests, you are about to witness history. A true South African legend and national treasure is about to be conferred with an honorary degree by the Durban University of Technology. Let's give a warm round of applause and a duty welcome to Ms. Tembi and Charlie Jones. To commence with the uh, process of conferring the degree, I'd like to invite to the podium the Executive Dean in the Faculty of Arts and Design, ladies and gentlemen, Professor Runette Kruger. Madam Chancellor, I have the honor to request you to confer the degree of Doctor of Philosophy in Visual and Performing Arts, Arts. Honoris Corsa to Tembi and Charlie Jones. Thank you, Professor Kruger. Uh, Mr. Charlie Jones, could I invite you to please join me at the podium? She just whispered in my ear, you have to hold the gogo. <laughs> Doesn't she look beautiful in her red, in her red robe? You can follow the citation in your programs, ladies and gentlemen, but it's customary for us to present to the congregation. Tembium Charlie Jones was born in 1949 in Durban and grew up in Kwamashu Township in KwaZulu-Natal. Tembium Charlie Jones is one of South Africa's most multi-talented artists, 
celebrated as a singer, actress, producer, and playwright. Tembium Charlie Jones was discovered by Waka Mamsomi and performed in the original Umabata, the Zulu adaptation of Macbeth in the 70s. She thereafter joined the acclaimed musical Ipitombi, in which she took the lead female role as Mama Tembu. She has toured the world with Ipitombi, including London's West End and New York's Broadway. Whilst in the USA, Tembi met with accomplished South African artists Hugh Masakela and Miriam Makeba. She worked with both of them, and together these three legends toured Europe and Africa. In 1998, Tembi and Charlie Jones had a residency at the Gallaudet University in Washington, D.C., and in 2004, a second residency at the University of Louisville. She was made an honorary citizen of Louisville by the mayor of the city. The governor of Kentucky gave Tembi the highest honor that the state of Kentucky in the USA can bestow on a civilian by making her honorary Kentucky colonel. On a return to South Africa, Tembi and Charlie Jones joined Sipo Gumede and created a five-piece band called Peace. She thereafter joined the Market Theatre in Johannesburg in 1987. At the Market Theatre, she worked with Janice Honeyman in Black and White Follies. Tembi then co-wrote Have You Seen Zandile? together with Prina Mslope and Marilyn Van Rienen, and she also performed in it. Tembi and Charlie Jones co-wrote with Barney Simon and performed in Eden and Other Places and Woman of Africa. She also toured with Malcolm Perkey's musical Marabi in the UK and the US. In 1999, Charlie Jones co-wrote and starred in A Woman in Waiting, a one-woman one play commissioned by George C. Wolfe at the Public Theatre in New York. This play was based on Charlie Jones's life story. It was created, co-written, and directed by Yale Farber. The production also won a Fringe First Award at the Edinburgh Festival and was transferred to the West End in London's new Ambassador Theatre in 2001. A Woman in Waiting has performed in South Africa, Tunisia, Canada, the USA, Bermuda, France, Azerbaijan, Dubai, and in Hong Kong. A Woman in Waiting tells of the many iniquities suffered by black women in domestic service during the apartheid era. And Charlie Jones tells of her own years as a domestic worker when she had to leave her own baby at home while she looked after the young of others. She relates the fear of the late night raids by the blackjacks and the agony of the mothers as their children faced up to the army caspers during the student uprisings. Um, Charlie Jones' eventual transformation into a performer and singer who has appeared on international stages is a testament to the strength and capacity of the human spirit to survive. A Woman in Waiting was, in a sense, um, Charlie Jones' own personal truth on reconciliation commission and advocates that women who have suffered should speak out or their hearts will burst. In 2006, um, Charlie Jones was invited to take part in the creation of the international theater production of American director-producer Michael Lessack's Truth in Translation, which opened in Rwanda and performed in the US, Europe, the UK, and here in South Africa. For the Baxter Theater run in 2007, the American Time Magazine wrote, and I quote, the raw gospel lament sung by Tembium Charlie Jones has extraordinary power leaving the audience in pale shock as the interval lights come up." Unquote. In 2009, Charlie Jones created a one-woman play adapted from Sindhiwe Magona's novel, Mother to Mother. The play premiered at the Baxter Theatre in Cape Town and has performed in Rwanda, Europe, the UK, Bermuda, and in the United States of America at the National Black Theatre Festival. In 2014, Charlie Jones created Gogo and Big Sister, a musical review, the play performed here in South Africa and at the National Black Theatre Festival in 2015 and 2017. Tembium Charlie Jones played the female lead in Mafansula, nominated for Best New Film at the Cannes International Film Festival in 1988. In My Country, Cape of Good Hope, The Wooden Camera, and Temba. Um, Charlie Jones' long and accomplished television career includes starring in the popular sitcoms Good Is Nice and Stockfell, which was nominated for an International Emmy in 2004. 
Tembium Charlie Jones has been decorated with numerous awards and nominations over the years. Our honoree is currently one of the leads in Mbewu, where she stars as Man Glovo. Mbewu the Seed is produced for ETV and has been awarded the fastest growing television drama in South Africa. Chancellor, ladies and gentlemen, some of the accolades Tembium Charlie Jones has notched up includes in 2019, Theatre Road, My Story, co-written by Charlie Jones and Dr. Cindy Sibe Magona and published by Caravan Press. The same year, 2019, Living Legend Award from the National Black Theatre Festival in Winston-Salem, North Carolina in the USA. In 2018, the Kwamashu Achievement Award. In 2016, the Executive Director's Award by the Naledi Theatre. In 2015, Arts and Culture Trust Lifetime Achievement Award for Theatre. The same year, 2015, the MEC's Recognition Award at the Simon Mabunu Sabella Awards. In 2015, Certificate of Excellence for Outstanding Contribution to the Arts and Culture Sector from the Minister of Arts and Culture. Standard Bank Ovation Award for a sustained and ongoing excellent contribution to the National Arts Festival. Standard Bank Ovation Award for the stage production of Gogo and Big Sister. Fleur de Cup nomination for Best Actress in a Theatre Play for Woman in Waiting. In 2013, the Umbokodo Award in the category of theater, which honors women who push boundaries of the genre and create new and exciting performances of the highest standard. In 2009, Living Legend Award by the Etequini Municipality and KwaZulu-Natal Province. In 2007, nominated for South African Film and Television Award for Best Supporting Actress for Stockfell. The same year, 2007, Truth in Translation won a Fringe First Award at the world-famous Edinburgh Festival in Scotland. She was also nominated by the Naledi Awards for Best Performance for Truth in Translation. In 2004, awarded an Honorary Citizen of Louisville, the Commonwealth of Kentucky in the USA. Nominated for Outstanding Achievement in Comedy at the International Emmy Awards for Stockfell, Secret Pals. In 2002, Tributes Achievers Award in the category of African Excellence in Entertainment and Arts Finalist. Sony Gold Award for BBC radio version of A Woman in Waiting. At the start of the millennium in 2000, first Fringe Award at the Edinburgh Festival for A Woman in Waiting. Nominated for Best Actress in the Manchester Evening Standard Award in the UK. In 99, Best Actress Award at the Carthage Festival in Tunisia for A Woman in Waiting. In 1988, the first Fringe Award at the Edinburgh Festival for Have You Seen Zandile? FNB Vita Awards nomination for Best Actress in Mapansula with the film winning the Best New Film at the Cannes International Film Festival. And Charlie Jones has also been awarded Certificates of Achievement in Filmography 1 and 2. She has been a juror for the International Emmy Awards for Film and Television since 2009 to date. She was appointed to the advisory board the Chelsea Film Festival in New York. And Charlie Jones has also served on the following boards of directors, the Gauteng Film Commission, council member and deputy chairperson of the Playhouse Company, the Baxter Theatre Board of Directors, and M. Charlie Jones also currently sits on the board of directors for the Living Legends Legacy Fraternity Trust. Chancellor, ladies and gentlemen, I now call on the Executive Dean in the Faculty of Arts and Design to continue with the commencement for this distinguished and magnificent honoree, Professor Kruger. Madam Chancellor, for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy in Visual and Performing Arts Honoris Causa, I present Tembi and Charlie Jones. of the authority vested in me, I confer the degree of Doctor of Philosophy in Visual and Performing Arts, Honoris Causa, on Tembi Njali Jones.
Chancellor, ladies and gentlemen, let's give a massive round of applause and may I be the first to call Dr. Tembi and Charlie Jones. Good morning, Chancellor, Ms. Nonkululego Nyembezi, Vice Chancellor and Principal, Professor TZ Mtembo. Executive Dean of the Faculty of Arts and Design, Professor R. Kruger, DUT Council members, staff, students, parents in the Faculty of Arts and Design, friends, and industry leaders. Not even in my wildest of dreams, could I have thought that in my lifetime, I would have the privilege of addressing such a prestigious audience. My journey has been a long walk, a long walk that was held up by theories and laws that were set in order to make one feel non-existent and that were further punctuated by extreme forms of daily physical brutalities. I feel deeply honored to be afforded this opportunity to address you. My heart's deepest gratitude goes out to all those who mentioned my name in rooms I never imagined and ensured this moment would, made, would be made possible. Gabong. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, Mine has been a long walk, and it is well documented in my biography that Dr. Sindiwe Magona and I co-wrote and was published by Caravan Press in 2019, titled Theatre Road. At various points in our lives, we all experience instances where we start to question our existence here on Earth and the purpose behind it. Because after all, purpose is one of our main driving forces. Growing up here in South Africa, I encountered very strong systems and processes which predetermined my identity in an attempt to box me into a certain type of character, an unfair burden that I was as assumed to act out. The more the number of people who are confused about who they are, the more the system is destined to flourish and be seen as a success by its owners. This, in my view, accounts as a reason why so many people live without any ambition and do not take ownership of what is happening or not happening in their lives. Actually, I would say that a person without Ambition is dead. Therefore, I and millions of other South Africans were meant to be stillborn. However, certain things in the universe were destined to save some of us. This huge academic institution, Durban University of Technology, played a major role in exposing and derailing the logic of the apartheid system. The system's intention was to enforce a treatment of insignificance and powerlessness on its various target groups. The organization of which has become DUT is a supreme example of what can be achieved through determination and the community spirit in the face of adversity. In the late 1800s and early 
1900s, laborers came from India to work in the sugarcane fields of what is known today as Guazulu Natal. In 1927, the Cape Town Agreement was adopted and one of the provisions stated that those among Indian laborers who had no education would be deported back to India. I would like to pay tribute to people like Advocate Albert Christopher, P.R. Partha, Dr. Nabeth, M.L. Sultan, and many others at that time who came together and used that threat to lay the foundations for duty as we know it today. While taking on the struggles of laborers who were enslaved by this system, they also were laying a firm basis for me to be able to stand here today for a victory for one oppressed section of the population should be a victory for all. DUT has now become a modern academic institution, an institution whose end goal is not merely knowledge production. Importantly, it is also about the usage of same knowledge to present practical solutions facing our communi communities. In the poem entitled, If, Rudyard Kipling gives more meaning to the argument of striving for success, even when all odds are not in your favor. If you can dream and make dreams not your master, if you can think and not make thoughts your aim. Based on these lines and others, he then concludes and gives what could be expected as an outcome. Yours is the earth and everything that's in it. And, which is more, you'll be a man, my son. This institu institution's ability to balance critical thinking and active involvement in search of practical solutions to problems facing our country is what makes me deeply honored and excited to be associated with this great institution. In my view, you handled the integration process of Natal Technicon and ML Sultan with the sensitive care it needed. The successful completion of the integration process represented one more nail in the ghost of South Africa's racial model. Furthermore, it does not come as a surprise that this faculty has produced national and international household names like Zex Bantwini, Mon Lingobo, and Black Coffee, to name a few. In 2011, my city, Eteguini, gave me a Living Legend Award, and I would like to repeat the same words I made on that night. I have been highly decorated in almost all corners of the world where I have worked. This gave me a sense of achievement and pride. However, as it kept happening, I started to feel a sense of inadequacy. I had more questions I could not answer. As it happened then, I am now sure of where that emptiness stems from, despite being showered with all manners of praises and awards. The reason being that no recognition, no matter how much weight and wealth it carries, can ever beat a simple gesture, such as a thank you from your own city, and more so by a reputable, institution. I can now proudly say that I feel fulfilled. My desire to do more is once again burning. You have given me a new lease on life. Like at Nelson Mandela, I have walked a long walk in my chosen career, and in my mind, I thought I had almost reached my final peak. However, just as it happened to him, I too have discovered the secret 
after climbing a great hill, one only finds that there are many more hills to climb. The best thing this time is that I will be climbing those hills with you, with my own people. 66% of our youth are currently unemployed. This scenario is deeply concerning as it is creating new and deepening the already existing social issues in many of our communities. This concerns me especially when I look at the potential role the creative sector can play in reversing this situation. Just recently, 31st March 2022, the South African Cultural Observatory released the report of its study related to the contribution of the creative sector to the national economy. In terms of the report, the creative sec sector accounts for six percent of all jobs in South Africa and this translates to one million jobs and this is slightly more than the figures of 2017 which stood at 5.5 percent. Further, the report stated that South Africa's cultural goods exports grew at 14.6 percent per year between 2015 and 2018, making up 0.47 of South, South Africa's total commodity exports of 2018. Given this performance, even in the presence of the pandemic, shows that this sector has more growth potential, which is possible with correctly targeted investment in the sector. Your award has offered me a pedestal from which I see many possibilities to make a contribution to reverse the problems troubling our youth. I feel deeply honored that I will be joining the personalities and legends I highly respect who had received this award previously. The likes of Jonathan Clegg, Sipum Kunu, welcome Bodloza Nzimande, Ella Gandhi, Joseph Shabalala and Steve Biko are some of the names that have received this privilege. It was in 1990 when I met Dada Nelson Mandela for the first time after he was released from prison at his home in Soweto. I could not believe it when he called me by my name and thanked me for providing him with, with entertainment while he was incarcerated in Victor Fester prison. He mentioned how he loved Utoko. My character is good is nice. <laughs> the beloved show that helped mold my TV career into what it has become until this very day. Currently, there are so many people who are going through different life problems. Some are either on the verge of taking their lives or have even lost their battles to depression. I have heard stories about people who have gone to the point of reconsidering committing suicide after consuming various works of the creatives, whether it was after listening to our songs or watching an episode of our televis television shows. Creatives are therefore like doctors, friends, or even psychologists to the lonely. In fact, we are a mirror of society. Through our scripted lines, we are able to influence certain behaviors and perceptions. I have been in various places around the world where I have seen cities going down because of degeneration. Under such conditions, the income earners abandon the city's entertainment venues and prefer going to the trendier areas. In all of these instances, the creative sector was used to bring back masses of people through taking degenerated buildings and converting them into creative hubs. I see such potential for our city. We have billions of rents, both above and underground infrastructure in the city, and nothing can justify letting it die through neglect 
and the development of new resources through the creative sector. Like I said, you have injected a new life in me, a new sense of purpose. I'll be going out there to try new strategies and gather the support of all relevant stakeholders. Before I finish, I would like to congratulate all the graduates of class 2021. Congratulations. I came here as Tembi Mjali Jones, ladies and gentlemen, as I am now officially Dr. Tembi Mjali Jones. <laughs> I am eternally grateful to you for listening. Thank you. Chancellor, ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Tembi Mchali Jones. Thank you so much, Dr. Mchali Jones. Maybe you can work with DUT and we can get Ipitombi back on stage for a modern take on the legendary story. Graduates, ladies and gentlemen, we're moving on to the next phase of this morning's celebratory graduation ceremony. In a few minutes, we will invite our graduates to walk up to the graduation stage. For the benefit of our graduates and our guests, I'll just take a minute to explain the process so you know what's going to be happening next. Our graduates will be called up in specific order as they appear on the graduation roll. You will line up on the left-hand side of the auditorium. My right, your left. Make sure you bring your name card and your hood. Leave your mortarboards on the chair. You can put that on when you return to your seat after you've walked the stage. So name card and hood. You'll then be verified that it is you. The name card and the name on the graduation roll is the same. You'll then be invited to walk up the ramp to get onto stage. My advice for the last week and a half, especially to the ladies who are brave enough to wear high heel shoes. If you're feeling a bit wobbly, it's a, you know, it's a nervous moment, hold on to the railing. You don't have to be brave to prove. We don't want any accidents, okay? We've already had one or two broken heels, missed chances, so please rather be safe than sorry. You'll arrive on stage, graduates, onto the red carpet. Like Dr. Tembium Charlie Jones, you will have to be present at the podium. Either the executive dean or the head of department will be here, hand over your name card. Then, notice there'll be two white footprints on the floor. Stand on the footprints and face the congregation. Two reasons, one, you spent a lot of money and time on your hair, your makeup. I mean, you're looking good, right? This faculty always turns out well, they're looking good. Your shoes, so show the congregation how good you look. Secondly, we have a photographer right in front, and this is the first of a series of photographs on stage. Now, these photographs, trust me, will last a lifetime. Your grandchildren will be looking at these one day. So make sure your eyes are wide open, your hair sorted out, your mascara is not running, nothing stuck in between your teeth, smile and look good for the photograph. Once your name is read, make sure you get your name card back. You'll need your name card at the end when you're fetching your qualification at the back of the hall. So the name card is important. So get your name card back. You walk down the red carpet. For those who are receiving a degree, you will be conferred and capped by the chancellor. So in front of the chancellor, you'll see a kneeler. It's not a stool or a chair or a bench. Please don't sit down and have a conversation with the chancellor. We can do that on another day. Today is to graduate. So you kneel on one knee, present yourself to the chancellor, make sure you look at the chancellor. The chancellor will then cap you and this will confer your degree. It's an important part of the graduation process. There will also be another photograph captured at that moment. Once you've been capped, your next stop 
is at the registrar, hand over your hood, the registrar or the faculty officer will be behind you and they will hood you. And here's another important pick, so make sure you're smiling and you're looking good. Pose for the photograph with the registrar or the faculty officer and then walk down the stairs carefully, once again, high heel shoe people. Hold on to the railing if you are struggling. Exit the stage and go to the back of the auditorium. Hand over your name card so they'll verify it is you. We don't want to give a qualification to the wrong person, so we need to double check. You will receive your qualification in your hand in an envelope today. You've worked very hard for this. So enjoy the moment, enjoy the experience, and remember as you celebrate on stage, think about the others who are coming behind so that their names can also be heard and resonate through the congregation. I also need to let all our graduates and our guests know that if anyone is feeling unwell at any point, please notify one of our staff members, our ushers or member of our security team. We have paramedics on standby. We have an ambulance on standby. Let's hope we do not need any medical intervention, but if you do require medical assistance, let us know soonest so we can give you the medical attention that you require. Chancellor, ladies and gentlemen, that's enough from me. I think let's get the rest of the show on the road. And before our graduates are called up onto stage, let me invite the Executive Dean back to the podium to commence with the conferment process. Please put your hands together for Professor Runette Kruger. Madam Chancellor, I have the honor to request you to confer the degrees on the graduates from the Faculty of Arts and Design who will be presented to you and in absentia to those whose names appear on the program. By virtue of the authority vested in me, I confer the degrees and diplomas. Madam Chancellor, for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy in Visual and Performing Arts, I present Ms. Margareta Maria Pitti. The title of her thesis is A Poetic Inquiry into Lecturers' Encounters with Technological Teaching Tools. The summary is as follows. The study asked how poetic inquiry, PI, can contribute to capturing the full complexity of lecturers' encounters with technological teaching tools, and how actor network theory, ANT, and its theoretical relations can help to comprehend how agency plays out during these encounters. The performative interview technique was used to interview 12 lecturers from the Durban University of Technology. This method created conditions where something poetic could be expressed. Truth was performed together by interviewee and interviewer. Virtual interview recordings were analyzed to create poetic representations, participant voiced poems. The strategy of coupling poetic inquiry with actor network theory culminated in the development of the ANTPI question kit the main contribu contribution of this thesis. This enabled the discussion of selected poems in relation to theory. The reader was prepared for creative engagement from the start, ending with the invitation to use the kit to unlock the po poetry collection of 46 poems which concluded the thesis. Scholarly, rega scholarly regard for subconscious knowing and the imagination deepened as the devices were trusted throughout to illuminate truth. The, the thesis is a demonstration of the kind of knowing that emerges through fidelity to the belief that imagination is equal to reason. The supervisors are Prof. J.P. Wade and Prof. J. Cronier. Okay. 
Madam Chancellor, for the degree of, um, thank you, Madam Chancellor, for the degree of Master of Applied Arts in Fashion, I present to you Keegan Naidu. Gechomedizwe Machidiso Paya. Tony Tendai Manyangatze. For the Master of Language Practice, Non Kanyeso Sipilele Kanyele. Madam Chancellor, for the degree of Bachelor of Technology in Journalism, I present you Nwambeso Flamini. <laughs> for the degree of Bachelor in Technology in Journalism, Megan Francis Muthen. For the Postgraduate Diploma in Fine Arts, Rohini Amratlao. <laughs> Madam Chancellor, I now call upon the relevant HRDs to present the Diplomandi. Thank you. Um, shall I continue? Okay. Fashion. Okay. For the advanced diploma in fashion, Dudezile Lorraine Londewe Msibi. Nomondo Nyantikazi. <laughs> Marissa Ramsami. <laughs> Tumalelo Sitandwa Shoba. Cindy Sne Zungu. <laughs> Jacozisi Andrew Kulu. <laughs> For the advanced diploma in language practice, Ellen. Sanele Kele Tibasisu Hamilton Kele Tibasisu 
Nondomeso Zintle Dube. Non tutuko zamanguazi ngumisa. Spilele not clolo. Go, okay. Londeka Melody Kumalo. Anele Innocentia Malaysia. Sinatemba Tracy Mbambo. Andile Abigail Mbanjwa. Palisande Nkunu. Njabulo Smangaliso Mtlalose. Sama Kelly Siwe, Latisha Mdlalose. Non Santla, Ellen Mkise. No Sichle, Evidence Mguni. Nosipo, peaceful and lovu. Conjulva, truth, nwandwe. Mufanafuti, lindani, nwandwe. Neliswa Carol and Dwandwe. <laughs> Zuzile Princess Ngriba Cum Laude. the Dean's Merit Award for Academic Excellence. Sitembele Zudumo Nkongo. Anele Stembo Kutle Ntuli.
Mbalenthe Kumalo. Lungile Poswa Cum Laude. Wandele Quele The Diploma in Fashion Design. Jade Governor. The Diploma in Fashion Design, Talia Krauts. Lungele Maluleka. Spewe Zintle Mapumulo Pumla Mazbuko Pilani Mtunu Pumzile Sibabawe Mia Mkobile Bisiwe Mpongose. Willile Sbatle Schembu Mchembu Chulubeke Mtranana Sanelisiwe Balungile Ndlovu. Non to beko, tolile, and juandwe. Balungile, charity, mobo. Salondiwe, simbongo kule. Nzusa. Breeze or Smond. Hannah Reed Stibble. For the Diploma in Fine Arts, Maya Dunyas Yiswe Akona Kambule. Zama Lembede. Sibakazi Makova. Sitrelo Duncan Mamela Silindo Bushle Mbele
Lindiwe Mbambalala. And this way, don't copy way, and For the diploma in jewelry design and manufacture, and Dile Shlongwani. And to do this, and Dile Mabaso. Luazi Mbongwana. And this way, and this one, Mtolo. Kanyesa. Hyacinth Aviwe Mzisi. Zoleka Kate Tandeka Sinitemba Zwani. For the National Diploma in Fashion, Londewe Nobutle Hadebe. For the National Diploma in Journalism, Nondutugo Blosi. Andile Babongile, Lady Fair Tele. <laughs> Devani Kupasami. Nandi Pa Lamini Icona Fumba. Luanje Gazi, Gwiji. Kakiso, Ashley, Kipopele. Tagasani Mkondisi Kumalo.
Nokolo Lucia Guneni. Nunca Mulo, Pumelela, Masaba. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you. Sivuile, Lithi Temba, Machigi Jela. Mtebo Makaye. Mubego Bright Mbele. Sisanda Mbele. Sinendasa Mzaga. Ntombi Zenani, Sbusisiwe, Mzuli. Skumbuzo, Mtunge. Nondando Mshongo. Samgelisiwe Mjoli. Nungubego Mkwalo. Ndando Yengosi Mwabe. Ndagani po kiniso mnai. Nomtandazo tembegile molefe. Amanda Mkati. Ande Kaeli Se Msomi Unati Msutu
Piwo kuhle mthembu. No wonder perseverance ngwane. No kanya millicent ndebele. Azile stogozisiwe no mangisi ngobo. Netemba Nomtandazo graduate Ngobo Sanele Promise Ngosi. Sanele Njangase. Songezo Spambo. For the National Diploma in Language Practice, Snendanta Peggy Blose. Gosing Pile Kala. Tembile Tabisile Dindi Mobile Nobuse Zamini Minente Talupila Tube. Tembi so Terence Gumbi. Sandy Siwe Gratitude Lambisa. Zolega Spogazi Shongwani. Zolisani Prince Kumalo. Zuziwe Kumalo.
graduates, graduates, thank you. Zandile, precious, kunene. Lindogushe Mabuza. Tabile, peaceful, Matonzela. Bakinile, pretty, Makonza. Mvana Futi, innocent, Masango. Minente, Masibulele, Masibugo. Fanela, Fanele. Pamela Mbambo. Mobile Candy Mkize. Letintanta Samugele Mkulise. Po Mdambo Kanyisile Mdungwa Tinile nondumiso mpungose. Slindogu she brilliant msueli. Noglunga Bongega Mtimkulu Londega Faith Mvelase Slindile Rejoice Njovu Senzego Ketuk Tula Ngosi. Graduates. Sisagelo Mondi Ngosi. Poshia Nokanya Pungula Dimpo Spindile Dombela.
كل ما نعم وانا مان كل ما تمت بولا نقولego نقصي ابونا نطولي Noltando non dumiso niente. Non cagniso scinga. Vamisile zibuile shobete. Mandisa vitima. Tobega zata. For the National Diploma in Translation and Interpreting Practice, Ndombizonge Tala Butelezi. Amanda Tele. Lindoguse Tagile. Tebelise Sianda Zaza. Sinetemba Peaceful Gumbi. Pilasande Dr. Shomuga. Nomtandazo, brilliant, Como. Snintanta Ndogozo, Kubisa. Spongile Kumalo. Kulile Kumalo. Aubrey Mangoba Kuzwayo. Spelele Miegeni Lutuli. Amanda Mazala. Bongega Matuna. Spepile Priska Matuna.
Tabile Makanya. Lungelo Mapanga. Nomvelo Mapumulo. Sandile Fred Mbata. Lindoguse Mbetu. Manda Petros Mkize. Sandile Mlungisi Mkize. Mtobisi Snetemba Msane. Tulile Surprise Mselegu. Anele Zetembiso Mtembu. Tembega Mendi Mtembu. Mbali Mtimkulu. Graduating cum laude and also awarded the Dean's Merit Award for Academic Excellence, Angeline Meni Mieza. Mandisa Ngobo. Velo Nduduzo, Leon Ngobo. Morning. Spelele Ngobo. Spesile Nkululego Ngobo. Pila Rebecca Ngidi Lindelise Sero Ngosi Nobuse Khadebe. No Gwanda, Rebecca Khadebe.
Tembo Guse Hatebe. Luyanda Ndomfigile Shabalala. Nozipo Shabane. Mpumelelo Shandu. Nesihe andisiwe shange. Nondutugo shezi. Piliswa nendetelelo promise shezi. Sindisiwe Cynthia shezi. Alwande Peaceful CBC. Smanga Kulu. Pinky Nomfundo Zulu. Andiswa Zuma. For the National Diploma in Video Technology, Robin Lucille Chetty. Tianda Tabo Jamini. Danielle Mariah Governor. Dylan Governor, cum laude. Kikiswa Yolisa Gwambe. Nkosenya Emmanuel Kamalo. Nokatula Nondoduso Makatini Cum laude. Quanele Namelani Masibuko. Tandeka Nakwanda Ruena Mtsungwago. Cum laude. And Dean's Merit Award for Academic Excellence.
current name, Moodley, cum laude. Tama Kilisiwe, Felicity Mzolo. Nkudisi, Jupif, and Lovu. Apiwe, Nguenya. Pilonchle, Nloso, Ntansi. Nosipo, Bongeka, Ntompela, Cum Laude. Amanda Charity Sitole. Samara Vollenhofen. Wanda Mankoba Zulu. Noma Gugu. Nomakuku, Nomvusis Lelo, Talent, Zwane, Cum Laude. It's journalism, okay. okay. Thank you. National Diploma in Journalism, Tenjiwe, Innocentia, Ngobo. Siwe, Samukuli Li Siwe, Sitole Thank you. Madam Chancellor, ladies and gentlemen, let's give our graduating class of 2021 a big round of applause. Congratulations. You know, they say, Nivune enikuchelile. You reap what you sow. So, this investment that you have made is an important one. The university hopes that you will be vibrant, critical participants in our democracy. We hope that you will engage actively and entrepreneurially in our economy. We hope that you will display leadership and activism in the communities in which you are embedded. We hope that you give maximally of yourselves and that you are genuinely now members of an elite group Listen to this, graduates. Only 18% of 18 to 24-year-old South Africans have access to higher education. So what you have achieved today, you have a responsibility, not just for yourselves, but for your families, your communities, our country, and our continent. Always remember that a butterfly cannot be beautiful if the caterpillar is not brave. So be brave, be strong, be honest, remain respectful, and please be kind to yourselves and others. As graduates, you will now automatically become members of the convocation at DUT, which is a statutory body that helps shape the future of our university. It's an active body, and we hope that you will maintain relations with our university via the Department of Advancement and Alumni Relations. 
We also hope to see many of you return to DUT to take up postgraduate studies. South Africa needs more highly trained people. So I can see a few masters and PhDs in the audience in the years to come. So good luck and stay focused. Now graduates, you have navigated a successful journey, however, often through difficult times and challenges. You remember the early starts and the late nights? You have to manage Wi-Fi and connectivity. You adapt to digital and online teaching and learning. You have become the masters of Moodle and MS Teams. You even had to follow guidelines about a virus to protect yourselves. We had more alcohol on our hands and face masks than ever before. But we have survived and you have achieved. Umuntu, ngamuntu, ngabantu. A person is a person because of people. So despite what you may have thought, you were never truly alone. You had people around you. So graduates, I'm going to ask you to now please help me. I'm going to ask you to stand and turn to your right and face your family, your friends, your supporters, and give them a round of applause to say thank you for the support they have given you, the love that they had shared with you, and the investment they have made in you. And whilst you're standing, graduates, please face the stage and say thank you to the faculty, the department, the DUT team who helped get you here. And finally, graduates, I want you to make the biggest noise. Ladies and gentlemen, the graduating class of 2021, make some noise! Thank you. Thanks, graduates. You may be seated. Thank you. In a few minutes' time, we will all stand to sing the National Anthem of the Republic of South Africa, and then the Chancellor will dissolve this morning's congregation. Before we do that, it's time for the closing remarks, which will be delivered from the podium. Once again, the Executive Dean in the Faculty of Arts and Design. Please welcome Professor Renet Kruger. Madam Chancellor, esteemed guests from near and far, members of council, vice chancellor, executive and senior managers and colleagues, ladies and gentlemen and our graduates of 2021, allow me firstly to congratulate you who have received recognition for completing your qualification at this, the first in-person graduation ceremony in two years. In this time, which seemed endless, there has been much hardship and suffering. Hence, there has been much courage and perseverance on your part, the class of 2021 in particular, to be able to reach this point. But you rose above all your adversities through a combination of grace, hard work, and self-mastery. And these attributes along with the knowledge and expertise gained through your studies and your research, has equipped you to go out into the world to thrive and to contribute to the thriving of others. Every one of you who have reached this milestone today represents a stronger, better resourced community gathered around you. I congratulate you and I salute you and I'm grateful to be able to celebrate today with you, your loved ones, and your communities. Your grounds improving the lives and livelihoods of our people, and through them, the matrix of our society. Allow me also to congratulate our honorary doctor, Dr. Tembe Mchali Jones, who has inspired to success the DUT family. Thank you for those uh, wonderful words, uh, Professor Kruger. Chancellor, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we are about to sing the national anthem of the Republic of South Africa. Uh, the act that governs uh, the national anthem and the protocol is a simple one. 
we all need to stand, not right now, but I'll tell you when. Uh, once the anthem is played, please feel free to sing along uh, with the anthem. At the end of the national anthem, please remain standing. At that point, our chancellor will dissolve this morning's congregation, and the chancellor will then lead the stage procession off stage, and will exit down the central aisle and at the back to the left. At that point, our graduates could then safely exit their rows and followed by our guests. Once again, on behalf of all of us at the Durban University of Technology, congratulations to our graduates and thanks to our guests for their patience, their attention and their applause. And once again, what a privilege and an honor to have said that on the morning that a national treasure received an honorary doctorate from the Durban University of Technology, we were there. Let's give another round of applause and congratulations to Dr. Tembi and Charlie Jones. Guests remember, and uh, graduates tonight, or even later on this afternoon, I can see some of you may have started earlier this morning. Once the party gets going, hashtag us on DUT Grad 22, don't forget. And uh, thankfully, we had no major incidences. One or two brave people without shoes. I think that was a wise decision. <laughs> Enjoy the celebrations. Once again, from all of us at DUT, we wish you nothing but success and good fortune, long life and good health in the years ahead. May God bless you and God bless South Africa. Could I please invite the congregation to now stand as we prepare to sing the national anthem of the Republic of South Africa. of the authority vested in me, I dissolve this congregation of the Durban University of Technology. Uh. 